1987, me and April met at church, and I fell madly in love with her. Nine months later, we got married. Two years after that, we had our first child, and almost two years after, we had our second child, and then we become a family of four. We had a family of four. It wasn't the perfect family, but if you had asked us, it was pretty perfect. And then October of 2005, our oldest son was diagnosed with leukemia. May of 2008, he turned 18, and then um, graduated high school the same month, and then June of 2008, he passed away. So at that moment, we were broken and hurt. Our subdivision, all these people were starting to, to feed us and, and to love on us. And they was talking to us, and you was asking how we were doing everything, and then uh, she invited us to church. And uh, I said, okay, what's the name of the church? And she said, Joy Church. And I said, wow, well, I know I need some joy in my life right now. We walk into Joy Church, and it was very uncomfortable, because uh, I've never really felt the love like that, um, where it was just open and accepted, no matter how you looked or um, your past life, they were, literally greeting you with open arms. People are hugging on you and welcoming you to Joy Church and how you doing and stuff like that. And we were in a place where we didn't feel the love anymore. We were questioning everything that we thought, everything that we believed, um, everything that we even thought we knew our entire life because we'd been in church our entire life. And then we, we go and we sit down. And the whole time I'm there, I can just feel something that I haven't felt before. And I remember uh, when the praise team came out and they started to sing. And I could see the, just the joy on their faces and that they just loved what they were doing. And I've been in church all my life and I really haven't seen it before. When Pastor came out and he started teaching, I remember looking at April and I said, can you feel that? And she said, feel what? I said, can you feel the love that's in this place? That's what I needed because I was, I was broken inside. I was in youth group with uh, Pastor Rob. Pastor Rob and I had a lot of conversations. Um, I could tell you a lot about them, but they're just, they hold a special place in my heart with Pastor Rob. Every time I see him, I make sure I give him a hug because he's brought me through a lot of things in my life. And even today, there's things that me and him talked about that keep me going pastor would set and teach on the love. And that was the one thing we realized that we were missing. We knew the word, but we just didn't have the relationship and the intimacy of his love. And that's what changed it. And that's what kept us coming back and learning and the truth just starting to soak in that yes, he does love us. And as we were walking through those years of grief and we just kept walking and we kept coming back and being loved and the people at Joy Church and Pastor Jim and the leadership just kept loving us through those times. And it, at the moment, we didn't realize how big it was until one time we were like, oh my goodness, this is like, this is what it is. This is, this is what it is to keep walking and keep moving. And mm -hmm. um, there's still some of those answers that we don't have, but it's, it's okay because we know that God loves us. When the service was over, Pastor said something that he says every time before he ends the service. He said, God loves you as if you're the only person in this world to love. And when he said that, it's almost like God himself come and sit down beside me, wrapped his arms around me and said, I'm here. I've always been here. That's the thing that's, that grabbed me most from Joy Church is the love for people. Definitely check out Joy Church. The things that they can teach you, it's not just things you know about, but they teach you the why. They teach you how to live it out on a Monday and a Tuesday when it's super difficult. That's what Joy Church and Pastor Jim does. They teach you the why of just how to live life, how to be an overcomer.